Hello and welcome to Microsoft Outlook 2010 training. My name is Supriya Mishra and I am representing Vision Tech for you. So the course goals are find everyday commands in Outlook 2010, more room to manage your account, see more of your messages, get around in your calendar. And finally, search and find in Outlook 2010. The find everyday comments. In Office 2010, they introduced Ribbon in Office 2007 and has been improved in Office 2010. It replaces the former menus. So in Ribbon, you will see the tabs. And uh, in the Ribbon, the comments are organized in logical groups that are collected together under tabs. And you can also customize the ribbon to include your custom tabs that we will see uh, when we open the Outlook here. Okay, when you open the Outlook, you will see uh, a big uh, rectangular bar in the top. That's called the ribbon. Uh, if the, the people who are uh, who are transitioning from Office 2003, it's new for them. For Office 2007, it's not a new feature, but it's, uh, there is a lot of uh, improvement in these uh, versions of Outlook. So under uh, there are five uh, tabs in the ribbon, main tabs, and under each tab, there are a group of commands. These are the groups, and under each group, there are some commands that logically arranged. So, uh, in the in the home tab, we have uh, the uh, we have the groups called the new or the new email and new items you can uh, create. The delete as it sounds, the deleting with other some buttons that we will discuss, and the respond that you reply or forward your messages. This the quick step is uh, something uh, new in this ribbon too, uh, where you can create uh, your own uh, quick step to to do um, some day to day activities. That also we will uh, uh, talk. There are some uh, other uh, tabs uh, as well for you to explore. We will talk about uh, how to customize this tab as well. Like if we, um, if we are not bothered about all these tabs and we use uh, frequently some tabs and we want to put it together in one place that you can access it easily, that you also can do. Uh, we'll go under the file, then options. Here you click on the customize ribbon. Where you see all the tabs, the main tabs are there and if you click on this arrow you will see all the tabs and tool tabs, so let it be main tabs. We'll create uh, and uh, in this uh, in this uh, um, uh, group table there are some popular comments and you can click on the all comments to see all comments too. So let it be like that and let's create a new tab. When you click on the new tab. It creates a new custom tab and also new custom group. It has been selected the custom group. You can rename it. Let's rename to office. And the new tab also we can rename something that we can distinguish. That's uh, my name here. So and also we uh, we we want to put it. Uh, we can put it anywhere uh, within this within the ribbon. So let's move it to the top top of the um, uh, this bar so that it will show off the first option after the file in the tab. So when we are in the office custom group click on that to be sel to select it and let's see what uh, commands we want to put under office. Say new email we want to put in that. You will say new contact and uh, maybe new appointment or you want to have a print because the print is uh, somewhere stuck in a, uh, under the file so if we, if we, we, you print a lot of your messages maybe you want to put something handy so put it there and say ok so now you see how we have created a new uh, tab in the ribbon called Supriya when you click on it you have a new group called office under which we have our four um, frequently used uh, commands. Uh, we can um, also create uh, as many groups as we want and in each group we can have as many as uh, uh, commands we like. 
So this is uh, the way you can customize the ribbon and uh, if you decide to take it out any of the comments from your custom group you can do that by right clicking on that uh, tab and you say customize the ribbon which will take you to the same outlook options where you choose your uh, customized uh, you want to if you remove any of these comments or all of a total the if you want to reset all your customization you can reset from here it say reset all customization but if you want to remove uh, a single uh, command so click on that and remove or if you want to remove a group you can remove it or remove a tab you can remove it say okay so that has been removed from here so that's how you customize your uh, your ribbon another thing uh, I want to uh, discuss about this quick access toolbar that's also a handy tool that uh, where you can put your uh, most frequently used commands to access uh, straight away. Like send and uh, already there is a send and receive all folders and undo and print command. If you want to put any other commands, you just click on that small arrow in it and then um, you uh, select a command. So I select the delete, so it is there. So it can be accessible. So that's why it is called uh, quick access because it is, can be accessible easily. Uh, if you want to put more commands, also you can go to more commands and select any of the command and uh, add it to the list. So we are happy with uh, that for now. So let's get back to our PowerPoint presentation where we'll see more uh, stuff to discuss. This is uh, the more room to manage your account that you will do on a Microsoft Office backstage view that has been introduced in this version of Office. Uh, and uh, in Outlook, uh, under the backstage view, you can manage your accounts uh, and there are some cleanup tools. Uh, you manage your rules and alerts and you see print command and help button and your Outlook options where you customize your uh, uh, mailbox. So let's open again the Outlook. So when you click on this file, it will open up uh, a window where you, you will get all these options that we saw in uh, the PowerPoint slide, uh, including the print and uh, help button and there's some options to, um, the option group consists of uh, the commands to uh, modify or customize your each of uh, the um, functionality in Outlook, like mail, um, the mailbox will give you the options to changes your uh, mail options and that is calendar and contacts etc. The most frequently we are going to use this uh, if you are customizing the ribbon and you can select your language um, stuff over here so on. So and beyond that we have in file that we have print options. In the print option you can see uh, the, uh, the, the preview of the print that's uh, um, every uh, the the email that you selected it can show you the print uh, the preview and then you select your uh, printer from here and you click on this big print button to print and you can your change your styles too and if you want to modify any of the print options you can do that too from here well let's get back to the info where you see other uh, settings so the account settings that uh, you may or may not be interested because uh, this is the settings where you can add your more accounts to your outlook and change the uh, password etc but the settings are uh, useful for you may be the clean of tools that where you can uh, clean empty uh, the deleted items folder that when you delete uh, um, an email from your inbox or any other folder it is going to the deleted items folder but still is counted towards your uh, mailbox stories so unless until you delete from the deleted items folder so you can come up here and you empty your deleted items folder that will clean up your in mailbox and another uh, another options over here the command over here is the manage rules and alerts that's that's an important uh, command. The, if you click on that, it will open up your uh, rules and alerts window. So before going to an exercise how to create rules, I just want to let you uh, know about the rule and what the rule is for. That let's say you are getting uh, emails uh, from uh, a person, like from your manager maybe, 
uh, mostly and I get a lot of emails from that person and you want to organize your inbox in a way that uh, whenever uh, that uh, emails come from that person will go to the specific folder uh, without cluttering your inbox folder that's how you you organize your email and you know for sure how many emails are coming what are the emails are coming and uh, you are not going to um, going to miss an email from that um, particular person and you don't have to uh, drag and drop in a um, folder manually. So let's see how uh, how you can create uh, a rule. Is a create a new rule. There are some templates to uh, choose from. Let's um, let's choose the first one that move messages from someone to a folder. In the step two, you have to uh, select the from whom you are uh, going to. Uh, going to uh, uh, click this rule uh, apply this rule so you click on this people and select uh, any of uh, the addresses that you are up here say I'm selecting this particular address and it says okay and move it to the specified folder and which folder you want to move it so let's say you want to, uh, if the folder is already there, you can select it. If it's not, then you create a new folder. Let me call it test. And you are going to put that under um, this account and say OK. And say OK again to choose that. So that means whenever the message is coming from this person, this account is going to be um, going to this folder under my inbox folder. And say next. So if you want to put any uh, further conditions, you can put it here or you leave it like that and say next. You check this one out, the stop processing more rules, otherwise it won't process any rule and say next, next. And when you turn on this rule, it said on this rule now on messages already in inbox. If you don't check it, then uh, what will happen that this rule will be on when uh, the new email is coming from that person. But all the old emails will be still there in your inbox uh, everywhere. So if you want to run this rule already on the messages in the inbox, you can check on that and say finish. So now it's moved. And you say OK. So when you go to your uh, go to your folder and you see in your uh, uh, inbox that is a test folder has been created and uh, the messages that we selected from this particular person to move it it has been moved there so that's how you create your uh, rules and alerts and you keep your uh, inbox tidy